Hello, hello. Hope everyone is having a good evening. Um, I am excited because I am kicking off my new Facebook Live series, which is, you know, tied to corporate wellness because that's, you know, the foundation of my business. But it also ties in various topics such as employee engagement, culture, hiring, recruiting, um, and also anything to do with kind of the interpersonal relationships, but, you know, at um, one's office, um, you know, especially uh, for those that are in management positions. And so I'm excited to keep, kick this off. I am actually kind of playing with the title right now of uh, working wellness. Um, and work well. So I got those two hashtags. I would love to know uh, what your preference is between the two. If one kind of stands out or uh, seems a little bit more relevant, um, you know, in terms of, you know, what I do. They both work, right? You know, because what I was coming from with working wellness is that, you know, we're, especially in a in business environment or office setting, you know, it's really about, um, you know, creating an environment where we're working toward a healthy and whole office environment. So working wellness was kind of a title that kind of came to mind where, you know, I thought that it could, it could make a lot of sense because we're working towards something. Nothing is, we never start from perfection, right? Um, and so working wellness, we're working toward, um, you know, that um, ideal office environment, office situation. Um, so, and then work well, I thought, you know, was good because, you know, everyone wants to work well. Um, but I think that that implies, um, you know, personal achievement also um, health-wise too. So, um, you know, that's kind of what I'm, I'm playing with in terms of the title for for those um, for this series moving forward and I kind of changed up the time a little bit so I'm doing six o'clock instead of seven and to be perfectly honest <laughs> I'm doing that because um, uh, when it hits around seven o'clock of my time I mean my brain my brain is kind of done so um, that's why I changed up the time because I want to make sure that I am committed to each of these calls or videos rather and um, I want to be consistent so that's why um, I changed at the time so uh, if you are watching live um, go ahead and, and I would love to hear from you in the comment section if you don't mind giving me a little shout out letting me know what's up um, we'd love to hear from you um, if you are watching the replay thank you um, I appreciate that and I hope you kind of give me a shout out in the comments section too um, again I kind of go and, and I check things afterwards. I want to make sure that I'm connecting. Hey, girl. Uh, hey, Christina. Um, sometimes I want to call you Christina. Come sometimes I want to call you CBA. So, hey, what's up? I hope you are having an awesome, awesome travel day um, on your vacay, which you, I know, rock out and totally deserve. Miss you. Um, but tonight I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, what, what does one prefer when hiring is it technical skills or is it soft skills like you know interpersonal communication emotional intelligence and kind of all that goodness um you know just because i think it's a, an important topic that's become uh more critical um today and i think it's it's interesting because when you know i was hiring for positions you know back in the day um, in, in my marketing days, I would really look for the technical, um, and to make sure, can they do the job? Do they, do they have, can they use the tools? Um, and I, I would look at it from that angle and yeah, I would ask maybe some, you know, kind of emotional intelligence or, you know, are they a team player? Try to kind of dig deep on those. But, you know, it was kind of one of those things where I spent more time on the questions regarding their their technical skills and less on like the, their so, the softer skills. Um, are they adaptable and flexible? You know when things change because that's business, right? That's that's marketing. That's uh, any industry really. Um, things change. Things never stay the same. So you have to have people who are adaptable, flexible, um, and also you know how well do they work with others and. And you know that's always important, but you know that everyone is gonna say, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a team player, yeah, totally. Everybody loves me at my last job. Um, but really, kind of diving deeper there, because I think that you know people these days, the the technical stuff um, can can be taught, um, but 
I don't know. I'm just seeing a more need these days for the, the soft skills, the interpersonal skills, the emotional intelligence. I kind of sometimes feel like that's becoming maybe, maybe not more important, um, you know, but to some degree, slightly. Um, I'm curious your thoughts. Like, do you think, I mean, I'm sure it depends on the role, right? You know, um, you know, does, I mean, someone in management definitely needs to have, you know, that emotional intelligence, but, but I'm just kind of curious, like, do you feel like technical skills over soft skills? Like, what do you prioritize when you, you know, interview candidates? Um, you know, I'm, I'm just curious um, if you don't mind sharing in the comments, because, you know, I think that it's, it's a conversation that I think more management, um, you know, is, needs to kind of, put a little bit more time into how we interview, um, you know, potential hires. Cause you can find someone who's technically has those technical skills and can do the job, but if they can't become a team player, if they can't, um, you know, adapt or, you know, collaborate with the, with the teams or, you know, on projects, then I mean, how good are those technical skills? So that's kind of what has been on my mind lately. And, um, you know, just kind of curious your thoughts. So let me, let me check in. Christina hanging in with me. Um, yeah, critical thinking and collaboration is key, especially in higher roles. Yeah, totally. I, I totally agree. And, you know, we worked together for a long time and, um, you know, I miss those days. Um, and I, I agree with you. I think it's definitely um, key for the higher roles. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, as it comes into, you know, really interviewing, I, I just think about how, you know, companies interview and they spend a lot of time on the technical side of things. And I think it's important, again, it depends on the role. I mean, if it's a technical role, then yeah, they need to have those technical skills. But at the same time, you know, again, if they're, they're, if they're you know, just, they can't relate personally, they can't be a team player, they... Um, you know, I think it's, I think it, we need to dig deeper when we interview. Um, and I think that, um, I think a lot, I think management, I think, um, you know, those in those key HR decision maker roles, um, have to get a little creative with sometimes the questions, you know, that we, um, you know, that one might ask, you know, so, um, you know, maybe digging in and saying, okay, well, instead of bringing out a, you know, what would you do in this situation in a professional setting? I'm almost kind of curious, like, what are they like in a personal, uh, you know, capacity? Because a lot of times, you know, how someone reacts in a, in a personal setting could mimic how they respond, especially if it's, um, you know, if they're impatient or, or angry or, you know, whatever the case might be, um, you know, what are those kind of hot button issues with them? Um, it kind of comes out when you kind of flip the script a little bit and give them an example that happens um, in their personal life. Um, let's see, uh, Christina says, you know, I want it all, but there are definitely some things that can't be taught. Um, it has to be part of the person's DNA. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I want it all too, right? Um, I think that you want someone who can do the job, do it well, um, you know, but also, you know, be that, that team player, um, and kind of go in deep. It, I, you know, it's just, it's hard sometimes, you know, to find that like perfect, Fit. And no one's going to be perfect, right? Like we all have, you know, our, you know, issues that may require some tissues at some point. But, um, you know, I think it just, it, it just kind of varies up. Um, and, oh, hey, Kevin, uh, how's it going? Um, let's see. He says, I think it can vary by industry. Technical skills are the ticket to entry and soft skills are the differentiator between average and great employees. Okay, that's beautiful said okay I don't even know why I'm here I think you should do the video um, so uh, thanks Kevin for that I, I completely agree I, yeah I think it's it's a way to differentiate um, you know and I think the thing is is sometimes when you hire someone you know and they seem like great on paper and you might ask them questions that kind of dig in to their you know kind of uh, kind of soft skills and emotional intelligence you know it kind of then um, <laughs> You don't really know until you actually put them in the situation and, and you know, kind of have them kind of collaborate on a day-to-day -day basis with your your team, right? And so sometimes it's kind of hard to really know until you actually put someone in that position, you know. However, I think that there are ways where you know interviewing can kind of get a little bit, you know, more on point, you know, to really kind of dig deep to see because you don't want to hire someone technically and find out later that they sucked, you know, interpersonally and, you know, they're bringing the team down and morale's down 
down, um, you know, because that's just, you know, kind of one of those bad apples you kind of want to weed out. Um, you know, it's, it's, in it's interesting. I was actually at a kind of a leadership seminar um, a couple weeks ago, and one of the speakers, his name was Patrick Lencioni, um, I wanted to get that name right. Um, he mentioned like three virtues of an ideal team player are, you know, making sure that they're humble, like, or, you know, that they, it's, and it's not, you know, a lack of confidence, but, you know, they recognize their talents, you know, but they're also really on board with, you know, knowing that it's not all about them, you know, and I think that at times I know, like, when I first started, um, you know, in my career back in the day, I, you know, I thought it was all, all about me at some, sometimes, you know, so I think, you know, this kind of, you know, comes as you, you know, grow and, and you get that experience. But I think, um, so I liked that. He said three virtues of an ideal team player, humble being one, hungry is another. So strong work ethic, you know, are they going to be able to, the, some of those that have high standards, um, you know, they're maybe not necessarily a workaholic like, like me, um, but they're hungry. They want to dive in. They want to help. Help, um, get results for the team. They they want to see the company um, succeed, and I think that you know that's really an important aspect of a team player. Um, being smart um, is another virtue, is a third virtue that he talked about, and that was more about that interpersonal emotional intelligence, and you know really kind of being able to read the room and understanding um, emotions, and to some degree listening well, right, and being empathetic and. You know, sometimes, look, you know, you, you work, you know, 10 plus hours a day, um, you're in meetings all day long, you have work piled up. Um, if you're a manager, you're, you know, going through and, and you're, you know, looking at other people's work. So you actually don't get to your work until you get home or on the weekends. And so it's just this, you know, cycle. So sometimes it's, it's hard to kind of just, you know, really take that time to connect and listen and be empathetic because you're just like guys, like, I just need it done now, um, you know, because we have this deadline. And so, um, you know, that's, that's something that I've had to uh, work on over the years, admittedly. Um, you know, but I thought that that was, you know, a great point. I think, um, you know, emotional intelligence is one thing, but that inner relationship, you know, with other uh, team players and being able to kind of understand the situation, understand where they're coming from, um, and, and really listening. Um, I think it, they're, they're really, um, I think those are really key. And so I think that those are important to kind of dig deep on when it comes to interviewing. And I'm just curious, you know, like what are kind of some of those like key interviewing questions, you know, that you've asked that kind of dig deeper into kind of more the soft skills or the, the interpersonal relationship. Um, you know, I think you can start, you know, by saying, okay, well, what will people say about you? Um, you know, those can be, you know, uh, kind of an entry level question. You can say, you know, how, how do you describe being a team player? Um, you know, can, could be a question, um, you know, but also maybe say, okay, well, give me a situation in your personal life where, you know, you, um, you know, had to be empathetic and compromise and how that make you feel and and maybe you can start kind of digging um, outside of the normal questions that we typically ask in interviews um, just to kind of see you know what their responses are and actually I heard um, this dude say that he actually um, you know kind of dove into questions around um, totally just lost my train of freaking thought sorry guys um, but but, you know, he was he was actually talking about when he interviewed, um, you know, really um, just kind of seeing um, what, you know, triggers people, um, you know, what are kind of those annoyances, what are those pet peeves, and, and seeing how that relates personally. Um, Christina, uh, what motivates you? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I, you know, you kind of always kind of get different answers there, right? <laughs> right? Um, you know, some it's about the passion, the purpose. Um, you know, that type of a thing. Um, that's kind of, I don't know what you hear a lot, um, but that's something that I've seen um, is, you know, oh, that passion, that purpose. I, I love marketing and kind of like diving into that. Um, and then, you know, some, you know, it's, um, you know, more about, uh, let's see, some is money. Um, I've never really seen someone just flat out say money. Um, you know, cause I think that they don't think that that's, you know, a motivating factor or like, that's not something, you know, an employer wants to hear cause you know, 
they're not going to have all these big bucks to just, you know, give you every time, you know, you want. Um, but that, you know, that is the honest, like that if, if someone actually said that to me in an interview, I'd be like, dude, wow, okay. I, it, it would make me kind of be like, well, I don't know if we, you know, have what it takes, like, in terms of, like, money to satisfy you on a regular basis, depending on what that need is. But I actually would prefer, like, honesty over some of the fluffy answers that I think that people usually get. Because I think a lot of times in interviews, okay, you know, you're trying to interview them to see if they're a fit for you. Um, and, you know, there, there's smoke being blown both ways if we're all just really, you know, honest about it. You know, you're trying to hire someone to fill a need for you and they need a job. Um, so they're giving you their, everyone's giving you their best version of themselves. Kind of like on first date, like, you know, like you're, you're just being the best version of you. You don't let people see kind of your, you know, weirdness and maybe until like date three or four. Um, so, um, you know, I love, I love that question though. I think that that's a really good one. Um, Let's see. Oh, uh, I, I just, I just really thought that you know, digging deeper into you know, team player emotional intelligence. I, I think that's a, a really interesting um, point of view, and I also think that you know, when it comes to interviewing, I think that that you know needs to be something that you know um, people take another look at. I think technical skills are, are required, soft skills are required, um, and it's like finding that right balance. Um, you, you just don't want to hire someone who could potentially you know poison your team um, and morale and, and sometimes that happens and you have to course correct right because um, that's just business and that's life and, and that you know those things happen because um, you really never truly know until someone that kind of comes in the door and starts doing you know the work and interacts with you know your team so um, I'm just kind of curious though I mean as you guys think uh, like what are some of those great questions um, you know that you know you ask on interviews and and what you know is a priority for you like what do you see a priority in the business no matter the industry right now is it the technical or is it more the soft skills I think it's you know, again, like Christina mentioned, it's it's kind of we want it all. We want someone who has the technical know-how, but we also want them to have that emotional know-how. Um, and uh, you know, I just I have seen just from a lot of like conversations with companies, with you know some of the things I've been reading that emotional intelligence is becoming one of those areas. Those soft skills are becoming areas where HR is focusing a little bit more these days. So I'm kind of curious, you know, what um, everyone's thoughts are. You know, as we as we move forward. So, if you think of anything else, I would love to hear in the comment section. Um, you know, and that's really all I had to talk about because you know I just thought it was an interesting subject. I was actually doing um, a, a, a like I was writing an article about it, and I thought it would be kind of appropriate to talk about it because I think no matter if you're an employee, you're a manager, or you know you're a CEO of a company, I think this all relates, right? Because you know if you're at a point where you're interviewing a potential teammate you know this definitely applies um, if you're a manager of course you're going to be interviewing candidates um, if you're a CEO I mean hiring and making these decisions and figuring out you know what's actually you know what are those skills what are what is needed for your organization to succeed and making sure all the managers are on the same page um, and, and making sure HR is on the same page in terms of what you're looking for when you hire I mean you kind of get a sense of that over the years especially you know, with the culture that you have, you know, but, you know, when you have new managers coming in and, and all that kind of stuff, I mean, is everyone really on the same page on the type of people that, you know, you want to hire? And sometimes, again, you know, you have to hire people quickly, um, you know, just because there's that urgent need, um, you know, but I think that, you know, if we kind of take a step back and we, you know, look at some of uh, the ways that we're interviewing and the questions that we're asking, I think that we could probably, well, you know, weed people out a little bit faster um, so we're not bringing in people that could potentially be detrimental to you know our team and to the organization um, you know because you know if you're if morale is kind of in the toilet you know then it's not going to do anybody any good in terms of productivity um, it's not going to motivate anybody um, and it sure is heck not going to benefit your bottom line um, and so you know I think that from my perspective I like to look at how businesses can become more profitable while at the same time, you know, looking at, you know, that employee engagement, that, that, um, the culture, 
culture, um, you know, kind of creating that happier, healthier environment. And, and I think it requires, um, you know, both lenses, um, you know, and, and I think that that needs to kind of weave in through every aspect of your organization from processes to, you know, even interviews, you know, like we're talking about right now. So, um, you know, if you have any questions for me, feel free to type them in. Um, I really appreciate, you know, Christina, Kevin watching live. Um, and for those that you, those of you who are going to be watching the replay later, thank you. Again, still kind of come back here and um, type in, you know, your thoughts and, and your questions because I'll come back, um, you know, over the next few hours, the next few days and, and kind of answer and engage because I think this is an important topic, um, you know, especially as, you know, we're diving in, you know, deeper, um, you know, to, you know, topics that, are you know relevant to organizations no matter you know what position that you hold so um, I hope this was helpful I hopeful um, hopefully um, I will see you next Wednesday I'm actually going on a business retreat to Florida I'm going to Naples and I'm really excited about that leaving tomorrow I've got to wake up at 3 a.m. yuck um, so um, I'm going to be I'm going to be such a bright, sunshiny person at 3 a.m. Uh, so I, I'm excited, but I will be back next Wednesday at 6 o'clock um, to continue this series. And if you have any questions in terms of, you know, topics that you want to cover, um, I would love to hear from you in the comment section. And, and that way I can, you know, give value here. Um, I don't want it just to be me talking um, for the sake of me talking and doing these things. I really want you know, people to find value in them. So um, if you have anything, um, any suggestions, would would love to hear from you. And again, thanks for watching live. And if you're watching the replay, thanks. Uh, please heart, heart this and like it and share it if you don't mind. Um, apparently, Facebook really digs it when you use like heart symbols. Um, their, their algorithms go to work and they actually um, share this out in Facebook land. So if you wouldn't mind giving me some um, thumbs up or some hearts, that would be Awesome. So I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.